I love it out here in the water. You see beautiful sunsets out here, some beautiful sunrises too. I mean, uh, you're your own person, your own boss, do what you want, go where you want, nothing else like it. Uh, all I can tell you about the sunset, it always comes up in the east and goes down in the west every day. Never changes. Never changes. Jason Dempster, I'm a commercial shrimp fisherman. You can't catch it up. My dad was a commercial fisherman. You know, a small boat, he would go out and catch his 100 pounds, 200 pounds some days, and he was content. I'm a little bit more greedy, should I say. We are hunters out here in the Gulf of Mexico. That's what we do, we hunt for shrimp. Sometimes 24 hours a day, sometimes not. With this boat, you can put about 60,000 pounds on it. Never got shrimp piled up on the deck waiting to freeze. You throw them in a the brine tank at 45 below zero. Once they frozen and put down there, it's a done deal. And we we able to stay in 20 something days at sea. My wife tells me all the time, spend more time with the boat than me because this is my job. This is your home away from home. You're never too old to learn something new in this business. When you think you got shrimp figured out, they gonna steer you wrong. Anybody can come out here and drag these nets, and just drag them, drag them, drag them till they're blue in the face. Don't mean you catch a shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Mom always told me uh, there, there's gonna be better days. The only thing she didn't tell me is how many bad days, you know? Uh, I've actually gone overboard. I was by myself, I uh, slipped off the back of the boat and the boat was still in gear and it turned around coming back towards me. It's gonna try to catch the net, but it didn't pass by me. So I swam two miles to a platform, waiting for somebody, you know, pass by there and finally see me. Stayed on there about three hours. When your closest object is two miles away, that's a long swim. Can you swim good? Oh yeah. See, I found out that day. Us fishermen talk a bunch on the radio and know each other on the radio and never met face to face. We all like a family out here. We all, you know, this is next door neighbor, this is next door neighbor. We got friends in Texas that shrimp. We got friends in Mississippi that shrimp. We all work together. Shrimp fishermen has been fighting a losing battle for, for years and years and years. First time a few boats, they anticipate they're gonna have a good season. What they do, they drop the prices to keep you from making a bunch of money. The middleman, the middleman is gonna always fill his pockets. Years ago, maybe four years ago, they had a real good price on shrimp because uh, they had some kind of bacteria in overseas shrimp. Our domestic shrimp prices went up and boats were making real good trips and getting good quality prices for them and, and that, that intensified the trip. I know the prices on shrimp, import shrimp and U.S. shrimp vary in a seafood market. Support local fishermen. And I'm, when I say local fishermen, I don't just mean Louisiana seafood, I mean United States shrimp. not imported shrimp. Not really to make our prices go up, to make our prices stay steady. Or you can buy David Showman shrimp in Dulac, Louisiana. No, I'm gonna say like Forrest Gump said in the movie, you can compare shrimp any kind of way. I eat shrimp anyway, anyway. And like I say, it's all good shrimp. Shine.